Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the topic of our series. Today we will discuss about Taylor and Maclaurin series. Myself, Dr. Gar. You can simply follow my YouTube channel Dr. Harish Gar, where you can find the various videos on the power series here. You can also find this playlist Mathematics 1 under the channel name Dr. Harish Gar, where you can find the previous lecture. Now in this lecture we will see what is the Taylor series and how you can find this for the function, any of the function. What is the Taylor series? It is a function, it is an infinite sum of the function which can express in such a way that a function f of x has infinite derivatives at a single point. If I say the point is my a, then you can find the f dash, you can find the f double dash, triple dash and so on up to the nth derivative at this point. This Taylor series is introduced by this person called as the Brooke Taylor in 19, 1715. If you consider the single point as a origin or you can say if I say single point is x is equal to a, if I reduce them to the x is equal to 0, then we will call as the Maclaurin series. That is it, in this case it is a 0 is the only point where derivative considered. For most of the functions whenever you are talking about the Taylor series the function and whatever the sum are nearly equal this point. We will discuss this concept in the couple of this presentation. So suppose you have a function f and whose all the order derivative exists at the point a or about the point a. Then you can define the Taylor series. For example if I say this is my ln of 1 plus x clearly say that this is not defined when x is minus 1. It means Taylor series is not applicable at x is equal to minus 1. However, for all those x apart from this minus 1, this function is well defined. So you can define the Taylor series at this domain. What is the Taylor series? Is? If you define the function f about the point x is equal to a, then we can define like of this f of a first derivative over 1 factorial x minus a, second derivative over second factorial and so on this case. If I consider the point this is my 0 then we call as the Maclaurin series. What is the basic advantages of this Taylor series is based on this Taylor series we can express any polynomial f of x as a power series. That is the major advantages of this Taylor series. So you can take any of the polynomial f of x like here you can express in terms of the power series with the center 0, 1, 2. How you can do that? That's very simple. Your target, this is my power series. So what is my objective is? Your target is to change. If I say I want to be the here, say about the x is equal to 1. What is the meaning? I can change this one in such a way that everywhere x to be changed as a x minus 1 plus constant. So these are these. So what is the coefficient of this? Similarly about x is equal to 2 your target is to find these coefficients. How you can find that? This is the target and this will help by the Taylor series. So now what is the meaning of the x is equal to 0? So if you substitute here firstly you can find the derivative of this function and here after that all are my 0. About x is equal to 0 you can substitute x is equal to 0 here. So what is the value of the f 0? That is 5. What is the value of the f dash 0? It's a minus 2 and so on. You can substitute the value here. You will get this is f of 0, that's a 5. This is minus of 2, that is 5. Minus 2 over 1 factorial x plus 2 over 2 factorial x square plus 0, 0 and so on. So 2 upon 2 factorial is my 1 and so on. What is the x is equal to 1? It means you have to find this derivative at x is equal to 1. These are my here. Substitute this value, you will get these coefficients. Similarly, about x is equal to 2, you can find these coefficients here. You can substitute here, you will get these as the required answers. So this is the way you can, uh, sorry, this is my 1. So this is the way you can find, express any of the polynomial with the help, in, into the power series with the help of Taylor expansion. Apart from this, if you have some another known polynomials like 1 over x, sin x and so on, you can easily express in terms of the power series. For example, this is the function 1 by x. Your target is to make them as a power series. You can make them as a power series with the center is my 2. It means your target is to express this, say some constant as f of 2 
plus the constant x minus 2 plus constant x minus 2 square plus constant x minus 2 raised to power n and so on. So it means your target is to write the Taylor series about the 2 here. So what you can do, you have to find the derivatives of x 1 by x whole. So this is fx, this is the first derivative, this is the second derivative and so on. Clearly say that I can write 6 as my 3 factorial over x4. This is my 2 factorial over x cube. This is my minus 1 factorial over x square and so on. So you can say it's a plus minus plus minus. So it is here 1 factorial 2, 3 and so on. So if it is a 3, then it's a 3 factorial. It's a 2, it's a 2 factorial. But the denominator, denominator power is 1 addition of this one. So n plus 1. Now we can compute these values at 2. So what is the f of 2? You can substitute here. You can find all these values at here. Substitute this value in this case. You will get this expression. Or this is a power series. This is a Taylor series of this one. Or otherwise you can express more. You can see I can write this 2 as here. I can write this 2 as 4. I can this as cube. I can write 8. So I can take 1 by 2 as a common. Or you can write this series as here. Now another target is how you can find the sum of the series. So do you think that whether this is my arithmetic progression, is a geometric progression and so on. How you can find that? Clearly say that this is my, here you can write this bit way. So what is that? This is nothing but my GP series. So once you know that it's a GP series, how you can find the sum of the infinite? So this is A over 1 minus R. So that is R is my common ratio and when it will be convergent. We all know that GP series is convergent when mod of R is less than 1. I can substitute this value here. We will get the, this is the value of the X for which series converges. And the sum will be A over 1 minus R. So half will be outside. So this is the right answer of this. And you can see the function value is sum is 1 by X. Look at another one. Again, this is a non-polynomial. So you have to express the Taylor series. Now this case is A is equal to 0. So basically your target is to find the Maclaurian series of this fx. So this is the target because at the point f0. So we can find the derivatives, all those derivatives of fx, f dash, f double dash, f triple dash and so on. You can find all those values at the point 0. So sin 0 is 0, cos 0 is 1, sin 0 is 0, cos 0 is minus 1 and so on. Substitute value here, f dash is 0, this will be 0, this will be 0 and so on you will get this series. So that is what is fx is sine of x. So that is my Taylor series of sine x. Also find the interval of convergence. So how you can find the interval of convergence? In journal you can write like this way. How you can find the interval of convergence that we already discussed in the power series lecture. We can start from here and if it is less than 1 we can find the interval of convergence. So what is the a is? This is my a n. So what is the a n plus 1? You can substitute this value here. So you clearly say that this will be cancelled out. It come out to be n plus 1 only. This will be cancelled out. It give you x square. Because of this modular sign this value is my positive. This value is also positive. So what is the answer is my here. Take n approaches infinity. This goes to my 0. And 0 is my less than 1. So what is the meaning of the less than 1? That means by using the ratio test this series is convergent for all value of the x. That means sin x is convergent for all the values of the x. Look what is another one that is a Taylor series e raised to power x. Now you have to find the value at a is equal to 2. So you can find the first derivative all. You can find all these values at the point 2. You will get same. Now the Taylor series about the 2 that is my here. You can substitute this is my e square. This is what is that f dash is e square over 1, x minus 2 and so on. You can take e square as a common, you will get this is the series. Or you can write this number as this is a series of x minus 2 raised to power n over n factorial. So you can take n is, the first number is 1, so I can take this number as a 0 to infinity. So this is the required series of here. 
you can also find the interval of convergence you can take this value as discussed in the previous one mod of this r look at the maclaurin series that is a maclaurin series that means you have to find the center at zero what is the sin h sin hyperbolic x so we all knows i can express this in terms of the exponential this is my here so we can write maclaurin series of the fx here take f of x is this find the derivative f dash f double dash f triple dash and so on you will get here find these values at the point 0 at the point 0 and so on you will get this is 1 minus 1 0 and so on substitute this value here this is my 0 this is my 1 over 1 factorial x this is 0 this is my plus 1 over 3 factorial x cube and so on you will get this as the series which can be summarized them here because this is the odd power i can write this as 1 factorial and so on you can find the Maclaurin series of the cos square. So how you can write this as a cos square? The first method is you can take f of x as a cos square. Then you can take that second derivative. First derivative is 2 cos x minus of the sin x. Then second derivative or you can write this as minus of sin 2x. Then it's minus of 2 cos x and so on. Otherwise we can open them as a cos square is my here. Since this is my constant, so I can write this as a polynomial series, x raised to power 0, this is already in the form of the x. We can find only for the cos square, cos of the 2x as here. So I can consider this function as fx or you can simply consider this as a cos of 2x. We can take the derivatives and then we can find the values at Maclaurin is a 0. We can substitute this value of this. So f of x is my here. You can substitute this value you will get the required answer of this series now this is another method of the taylor series you can use them the substitution method that is quite easier to solve them how look at that now you can see this is the product tool piece the first method as we discussed in the previous case that is if you take this one you can take the first derivative that is a 2x e raised to power x plus x square e raised to power x then second derivative in the second derivative again you have to take 1 into e x plus x into e x and again here as a product rule and it will take a lot of lot of calculations so apart from them what you can do you just think about here term so you can see this is already a polynomial so there is no need to find the taylor series corresponding to this because the taylor series corresponding to x square is itself x square it is already a polynomial about the zero so this is a non polynomial so we can firstly find the taylor series of only gx so what we can do we can take the gx is e raised to power x we can take the first derivative second derivative third derivative and so on. so since it is the same so we have to find the taylor series about zero we can find the g zero we can find the g dash zero and here so therefore the taylor series about the point zero is my here what is the g axis g x is my e raised to power x g of zero is my one this is x this is x square over two factorial and so on or in general we can write this number as here so this is the maclaurin's or taylor series of the e raised to power x now we can multiply this by x square because this is already a polynomial so we can multiply them what will happen this is my required taylor series of this polynomial of this function look at this function the first method we already discussed in the previous question we can solve this question like of this we can take them and so on but the another method is we can because this is all a constant which is a taylor series already another method is we can try to find the taylor series of cos x only how you can find the cos x although it's a 2x but we can find the cos x so this is the derivative we can take here and we can substitute this value in the taylor series so this is the maclaurin series of g that is a cos x but we need the value of 2x so what is the maclaurin series of the 2x i can replace x to be a 2x so once you know the cos x cos of 2x is there and this is or itself a taylor series I can substitute this value and you can see both the answers are 
same as discussed in the previous part. Again, e raised to power 2x are there. So the first method is you can take f of x is by e raised to power 2x, then take the first derivative here, second derivative 4 e raised to power 2x and so on. Otherwise, we can find the Taylor series of the e raised to power x and after that we can replace x to be the 2x because here is my 2x. So again very simple, we can take the e raised to power x, we can take the derivatives points, substitute these values you will get here. So but we need the e raised to power 2x, I can replace them x to be the 2x is the required answer. So let's uh, do this five, uh, these 15 questions are exercise for you. You can try it yourself so that you may be able to get the more practice. These are polynomial, these are here and so on. So you can see this is a product rule. So you can use the substitution. This is the substitution. These are and so on. In this case, it's a very simple. You can start with the cos of x and replace by it here. We will see the next lecture on the Taylor polynomials of the order n. Till then, you can simply my follow my playlist mathematics one channel named dr harishkar where you can find all those previous lectures related to the infinite series i hope you can like share and comment on my these videos best of luck students happy learning